Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to limit login attempts on a WordPress website. So by default, WordPress allows users to try to log in as many times as they want, right? So this is really a security risk, and you will see like major uh, like service provider or web applications out there, they limit the login attempts uh, by like let's say five times, three times. Banking websites per se will like uh, limit your login till like five times. If you enter like correct email or like username and password for five times, you get locked, and then you need to take like extra security measurement or like contact support to get on locked so we are gonna uh, do the same feature over here in our wordpress website we're gonna limit login attempts for our users so that creates an extra security layer and prevents brute force attack okay uh, so before getting started we'll go to our plugin repository and search for one plugin that we'll require for this video so let's say we're gonna search for login lock down okay so let's hit enter so the plugin we need is listed over here the first one it has like uh, 100,000 in active installation as of now. So we can go ahead and install that plugin. So this is only uh, like required to get uh, like limiting login attempts on a WordPress website, nothing else. You can like, there's like multiple, uh, let's say uh, plugins available over here that you can try as well, but that's not our focus today. So let's go ahead and activate the plugin. And later on, we're gonna configure the settings for it as well, okay? So, uh, it should be available under settings then login lockdown and over here uh, we will have like settings and an activity tab so the activity tag over here will like block out the users they are trying to log in with uh, let's say like different and false username password combinations they will get locked out of this website so let's go to settings and we will configure or like explore the settings we have available over here okay so max login retry so after three times over here that value uh, the user will get a timeout and the timeout will be for five minutes over here retry time period restriction and after multiple, multiple timeout they will get permanent locked out uh, about like this minute over here whatever the value is so that's 60 minute by default okay so lockout invalid usernames so by default login lockdown will not trigger if an attempt is to made uh, login using a username that doesn't exist so we need to turn that on for better security mask login errors so wordpress will by default show why the login failed and if we turn on this settings over here that will hide the login error that being displayed on the front end side okay so then we have show credit link if enabled login lockdown will display following message on the login form so login is protected by uh, login lockdown okay so it, this helps the author uh, like a little bit about getting popularity since this plugin doesn't have a paid version of itself so this is like a very static and like free to use open source plugin that you can use for yourself in the website website i personally think supporting open source uh, developers is crucial uh, when they are like providing some awesome software over there out in the internet so let's turn that on you don't have to turn that on you can like toggle this off if you want so and we're gonna update our settings now we can open let's say uh incognito window over here and open up our website so this is the interface that's very familiar for us uh let's recap the settings we did over here in our login lockdown plugin so if we come over here we will see we must log in errors we lock uh, like out uh, false usernames as well and then we have max login retries uh, for three retry time period restriction is for five okay and lockout length like after the period of time the ip will get released from the system and they will gain back access is 60 minutes so all of them are modifiable you can modify them so I am not gonna really try to log in using my real IP over here since I do need access back to this website as soon as possible. So instead I'm gonna do one thing, I'm gonna open up a VPN and we're gonna proceed from there. So give me a moment, uh, let me fire up my VPN and we're gonna try the login restriction or limit login from a different ip so we can mask my let's say original ip to get back access to our website
yes now we are connected so we can try to log in using our default uh let's say username and a wrong password okay so let's log in so this is the masked uh, login failure message so either it will show the invalid password or this username doesn't exist uh, if a username didn't exist in the wordpress website but instead it will only show this static error whenever a login fails so that's the masking but you need your users to tell that a login been failed otherwise they will know like what the heck is going on so that's why there's a error over here but they are being masked that uh, the user who's trying to log in they won't know what the heck is actually wrong is either username or the password wordpress does allow you to tell that and this is the masking feature we just saw uh, in the uh, setting section over here okay and now let's try a username that doesn't exist okay so let's say this and we get the same error message as well so if you are counting correctly we have failed login number two as of now so let's go ahead and try another login and here error we are sorry but this ip range has been blocked due to too many recent failed login attempts please try again later okay now we can go back here to our uh, wordpress dashboard so in the activity section we will there is currently one locked out ip address so this is the vpn ip we were using and it has 59 minutes left before it gets auto released okay and we can like manually release the ip as well for ourselves okay so uh, max login retry it took us three times to get locked and within five minutes like each retry should be within five minutes to get locked and then we have lockout length of uh, five sixty minutes as of now okay so if we like uh, let's say sh shorten the period of retry and like five minutes is a bit of a huge time let's say uh, a user can go back to their like let's say password manager and retrieve their password so so feel free to modify these uh, values over here max login retries you can modify it with five let's say uh, retry period of time you can decrease it in, in my, by my opinion that would be better and lockout length less uh, let's say you can increase it to a day or so that would be better so feel free to give this plugin a try it's completely free uh, without no cost provides an extra layer of security on your website i hope this video gave you a little bit of information about how you can limit login attempts on your wordpress uh, using a simple plugin if you like this video leave a like leave a comment share this video maybe and like maybe leave some suggestion about future videos as well that we would like to see on this channel uh, like in future until next time i'm sharad saying goodbye thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one <music>